I was gonna say the thing with track sides as well. It, it take it, it it takes a bit more effort to go, for someone to go over you. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's not like oh, let me jump on the train. I'll be at Trellick Towers in forty five minutes. I can go over. No, it's like, different because when someone goes over you on your track side, there's an attention. Yeah, you got yeah. you that like, there's, there's a whole wall like, miles worth of tracks. Why are you going over? Non forgive nah. action. Yeah. <laughs> KillerKellerOfficial.com <laughs> You need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Nice. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast, live and effect, central, under and central as you need to be. Uh, I've got a couple of mates in there. People that have actually been on before um, and backed by a dope demand. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. Two's company, three's a crowd. Plug me inside the place. Hello. Well, go on. Hey, how are Mr. we doing? Mr. Kells. How are Jeez. we? We right. are in effect yes. and we're good to go. What have you been doing today? Chilling. Uh, Chilling. It's been an all right day, sunny wise. Yeah. So we've just been down at Chrome and Black. Chrome and Black. Big up the Chrome and Black crew. Ooh, all of them. Brat, brat. How are they? they? They doing good. I mean, they, 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 it seems like they're constant over there. At the busy. 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 Working, working busy. Keeping <laughs> lockdown going, innit? Yeah. That's what it is yeah, 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 totally. It feels like a, a lot of, you know, Active, more action than not goes on oh, in the lockdown. Yeah. Trust me, a lot, a lot, <laughs> bruv, a lot. How's it going for you guys? In the, in, well, now we're coming out, I mean, we are out. By the time people see this, we'll definitely be, be out. Yeah, anyone that knows me, anyone knows what I've been up to today, anyway, so <laughs> yeah. I don't really need to say much. Yeah, exactly. For, for, you know, for, for thinking of the future and what you'll be doing, you already know what you'll be doing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's, what's good, Bill? What's happening? Ah, oh, I've not really been on the roads. Really? Uh, yeah. Artwork to be done. You've been killing it with the maps. Yeah, I'm still doing that. Still For doing sure. that. For sure. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a, it's a, it's a busy business right now. Yeah, talk to me about because. I don't know how you're getting it, because for those of you, uh, you know, who are not familiar with Mir's programme right now... How you know, can you not be familiar? Because what I'm <laughs> saying is, like, it's... So, Missing so, out, man. <laughs> keeping them coming. So much map action going on right now. Keeping them coming. Talk to me. How do you get... Like, it's the collaborations as well, which uh, is yeah. bonkers. So, basically, I was doing the... Just the general regular size maps. Yeah. Uh, they were doing well. Yeah. And then I just thought, because everyone was doing them already. A lot of people were doing them already. And uh, so <clears throat> I jumped onto that, killed that. I'm, at, uh, I'm the map killer. You know that already. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I yeah. killed that. Yeah. And I thought, right, let me take it to another step further. So I started getting the bigger maps mm. and uh, did a few of those little solo ones for myself. And then I just thought, all right. There's people out there that will probably never see that writer and that writer from a certain era on yeah. a train panel or on a train together mm. <clears throat> in this day and age. Mm. So I thought, all right, let me just uh, do some collaborations and I'll mm. get some of my old friends, some of the good writers, and uh, double up and just get them. I'll do train panel maps with <clears throat> two pieces on a mm. train panel. <clears throat> And I put them out for sale, and they and they 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 sell they sell. It's they're changing. popping off, man. Yeah, like, they 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 go. They go popping nice. off. You're being light about it, man. They're popping off. Man. Yeah, I they're mean, it's it's, really? it's it's probably because I'm getting inundated now with people that I've never heard of or I don't know that say, "Oh, let me do a map as well. Let me do one with you." <clears throat> oh, that's cold. So but people like that you were fans of or friends with, you didn't know they just they, random. Some some of them are just random writers from. Anywhere, I don't know, but I've chosen. I've got a list, and I've chosen like people that are on the list and people that I can get hold of. And so, yeah, I've been knocking out some collaboration maps, mm -hmm. and they seem to be yeah, they're just hot. They're the hot ticket right now. So that's all. That's what I've been doing a lot of the time now. Is just trying to. Everyone's got different schedules, so getting that writer to get and get him a map, do his thing, mm -hmm. get it back to me. And that's all I've been doing for the past that, few that weeks. That could be. Now. That I'd say that's a, that's <clears throat> a challenge. Would chasing be... chasing people is yeah. That's a bit of a challenge. But the rest of it is easy. after that. The rest of it is easy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I just got to try and keep getting the good artists 
and getting them on them maps. You know what I mean? And a lot of them are what most. Well, every single one's a one off. Even though like I've done like how many with zombie, how many with diet, whatever, whatever, whatever. So, <clears throat> but they're all different. Yeah. All different pieces, all different one offs, all different backgrounds. I remember coming. I remember going into Chrome and Black and seeing the zombie one already. The, the work in progress. Yeah. And I was like, I, yeah, I did because I didn't know about the collab apps. <laughs> and then I see that I was like, oh, mm-hmm. see what's going on. <laughs> you, yeah. uh, you guys, uh, me particularly, you'll walk into a place and like you'll pull out these maps as if like they're cash tokens. <laughs> You like you dashing them out like who wants one? Who wants one? Who wants one? <laughs> <laughs> I don't bring them out. I don't bring up man unless someone buying it or I'm selling one or something. I don't really bring them out or I'm doing some. I don't know. I bring them out, but other than that, I don't really. I walk around with them, man. What's and that? My bag's always full with other stuff, so I don't want them getting ruined. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah. You've been killing it on there. I mean, you know, we're getting into merchandise stuff here because. You guys, are, it feels like <laughs> the dues have been paid and you're now in this zone where bags, for instance, <clears throat> T-shirts, hoodies, yeah. maps, yeah. posters, yeah. G- customised pieces. You know, this is, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's popping off, man. Graffiti, <clears throat> just, that's how graffiti is, isn't it? Like, one day, what, it can be the biggest thing yeah. and the next day, like, no one really on it, or you know what I mean? Mm. But, like, it's a certain heads, graph's always there, isn't it? Like, so... Doesn't matter what you do, like you can say you stop working, mm. or you can say you don't really draw, or you don't do this, whatever, too much. But <coughs> as far as I'm concerned, like graph's always there. It's in everything I do, or some sort of thing I do. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Now it's, we're it's always there. We just we just of that age now where like, I can't be doing this forever for free. I would if it didn't pay, but nowadays it kind of does pay. So why not? You know. Yeah. Instead of being a fucking bricklayer, yeah. you sit at home and do what you want to do. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I and was and go and get paid. I was, like one of them guys that paid. To, I was one of them guys that used to be like, I'm not no art head. I'm not like, you know what I mean? I don't want to sell my <clears> stuff online to know, you know what I mean? I'm not doing that. Do you know what I mean? And you get older and you're like, <laughs> yeah, I will. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Actually, that <laughs> could work. Someone, you know what I mean? <laughs> someone to see how it goes and yeah, we can go from there. Do you know what I mean? But... Yeah, when I was growing up, I was like, nah, man, into that. Do you know what I mean? I don't care. Like, yeah. what, do you reckon, what do you reckon the change of forecast is? Like, you boys have seen from the jump. I definitely feel like, oh, fucking hell, look, we're doing a fucking podcast. Yeah. You know, there's a graffiti <laughs> podcast. Yeah, do you know, know what I mean? You so what's the, what's the, what do you reckon is the change of tide in this particular season of graph interest? What do you reckon, what's made it suddenly go from... Because because wherever, wherever people go, it is, they're either seeing graffiti or <clears throat> they go to the park now, isn't it? And someone's, yeah. some people are doing stuff down there, do you know what I mean? Everyone's taking interest in it. Mm. You know what I mean? Their mates might go and go, oh, I've got this nice, this, I saw these kids doing this nice piece the other day or this nice colourful thing the other day. I took some pictures and then they've got it blowing up half of it on their wall yeah. or yeah. they put it in their bathroom or something, do you know what I mean? And now their friends are in it and it's, you know, you, it's, it's just like a chain reaction, isn't it? Like, yeah. it's, you know, you've got loads of people coming in the park. You know, you must have seen it yourself when we've been down and out. We're always out and people are standing behind us watching, you know what I mean? And it's something I, ne- I never used to get that. How's it feel? Taking that must be and... mad. That must yeah, be taking like, pictures what? and I turn around and sometimes I'm like, oh, turn back oh. around again. And I oh, want to yeah. say something, but it's like, well, how long have you been standing there already? You've yeah, yeah. you got better yeah, pictures. Yeah, 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 yeah. Footage right. and that, do you know what I mean? I've been studying what I'm trying to do in my thing. You've been snapping me up, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To be honest, I'm not, really, <clears throat> I'm not really that bothered anymore. I used to be bothered about people standing behind you taking photographs of Yeah, but you can't say nothing. They're like, it's like whatever. pigeons, man. You can shoot them away. Eventually, they're going to come back when they take pictures yeah, from it, a distance. It, 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 it's all publicity in a way. If they, yeah. Whatever they do with it is whatever they do with it. I'm not on the run anymore or I'm not wanted by the police or whatever. whatever. So but if you catch a picture of me, then so what? You know what I mean, people say they've got pictures of Banksy. You don't... What, what what difference does it make? Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I feel that. So I mean, some people are like, no, no, don't take pictures of me. That's hot. That's hot. Do you know what it is? It's, it's not, it's not if even you're that. hot, then yeah, don't take pictures of you. But when you when you used to I'm look at the old graph um, graph uh, magazines and the graffiti things that you man used to look at back in the day, and you got mm. those pictures of like people doing the graffiti, and that's like, you know, you're like, oh, they got a nice snap of them there. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to let no one get a picture of me like that. Do you know what I mean? You don't know. In the next few years or whatever, I'm going to be in someone's book and they're going to be like, yeah, I flicked through this book and I saw you in it. I'm going to be like, how the hell did yeah. I get in that book? Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did exactly. you get that picture? I ain't even yeah. got that picture. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. I need a copy of that. Furthermore, I'm, do you know what I mean? You're yeah, going to yeah. be onto them. So, 
That's interesting you say that, because I was thinking about this the other day, like how far down the road is it? Because, right, for instance, that, that as, a, as, as <coughs> something to address is like, okay, so people take photos of something that's on the wall that's theirs. If you're in it, that's a whole different thing, I feel. Mm. But if, if they create and collect and make a book out of something and then they sell it, like um, that, oh, you're owed something. Yeah, then, really. Yeah, man. As an artist or whatever work you're doing, you're because it wasn't from your consent. It wasn't something that we were advancing. Exactly. 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 But then people say, "Oh, there's freedom of photography and freedom of speech and freedom of yeah. this and freedom of that." There's freedom of copyright. But yeah, you can't look through someone's front window and take pictures and say, "That's oh, freedom of." You know, yeah, you would get done it, for it. Doesn't make sense. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But like I said, in certain ways, if you're at an event painting or at a gallery and you're doing something and there's press or whatever, and they're taking pictures. Well, you can't tell everyone, just don't take no pictures of me. Yeah. You know what I mean? You want that publicity, yeah. basically. Whether you Especially like it or not, if someone's going to get If you're not criminally active, so to speak, then you should have no real worries about people taking pictures. It's like back in the day. In when, this day and age, anyway. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Back in the day when I was younger, and I used to go to certain heads, and we used to follow certain older writers and they'd be like, don't follow us and we'll still follow them. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm still going to follow you, but from a distance. You know what I mean? Uh, we're not going to go on that train, we're going on the next train. We know exactly where we're actually going, so we're going to go there, you know what I mean? We'll follow you. We're not going to... You don't want us there. You're going to show us away. You're going to do whatever you can to get us away. We're going to call, man. Like I said, they're like pigeons. You can fly our pigeons away, but they're going to come back. Come back, mate. Right. So... Again, you know, you can do what you want, but eventually they're going to get what they want. Do you know what I mean? Whether you like it or not, they're going to get what they want. You know, so. you know I'm thinking as well as like, people People want the, they want the proof. When they film something on their stories or their phone, um, in a lot of ways, particularly the, un- the uneducated, they, they see the graffiti and they just want to show people that they're in it as a, <laughs> as a, as a sign of their... Yeah, like, coolness. Yeah, yeah. Shit. It's called begging it, man. You're preying the ting, bro. You're preying the ting. Like, you're, you just stood behind me, took a picture of my thing, and then you're going to come up to me with some little book and go, Can I get a tag? Of, can you get it? Can you do it? Mm. And it's just you're like, Yeah, I look, I've got this photo and I've got that reach there in the book. And I look, I met him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, No, you no. Yeah, they put it up on this and then at you. You took that picture. Oh, like you. You took that picture at me, and then you just came up a bit un- unexpectedly and asked me to mm. put my tag in your book for you. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So, so now you got a picture you, of me you, and, my, and. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know, who the hell do you think I am, man? It's there. <laughs> Sometimes when the older someone when the orders are telling me like, you know what, you got to start doing this and doing that, and I'm like, I don't want to have to do that. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be horrible or have to put things up for a certain price, and you're going to argue with me because. It's not going to work that out nicely. That does my head in. I still don't understand why people can't pay the price of an in, for an independent artist. I don't understand why. The, where's the barter in? What? What? That's what I mean. You want it. You you don't want to pay, but you don't want to pay what I'm asking for. Yeah. It's that. Well, this ain't this ain't bargain hunt, mate. And you're not. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So. Yeah. I mean, it's it's uh, it's uncanny. That Pardon me? Pardon for me? all of their things that you know they like to. Like I said, they like to feel like they own a bit of culture. They're yeah. filming and stuff like that. I mean, look around, boys. Like the, the artworks here, it's like I, yeah, you know, I do like, that. You know, I'm, it, it's it's actually baffling to me how someone wouldn't support. Yeah, uh, it's, you know, <clears throat> it's getting there, man. It's getting there. Mm. It's been a slow process. It's like from what I see in this day and age to years ago, it's a lot easier. Yeah. To, to be accepted, to get paid. It's still it's still hard work to get paid sometimes. Mm. But sometimes you just have to know how businesses run. Because I used to complain before, like, someone brings me in on a commission job and they're telling me, like, oh, yeah, we should get paid next week. Cool, all right, I'll hold, I'll hold that. I'll mm. hold out until next week. And then next week comes and they're like, oh, I don't know what's up with this company. Like, the woman that's dealing with it, she's off sick and... It's got to go through oh, their accounts bollocks, department yeah. and then this and that. So it might turn into like three or four. You yeah. just have to... <clears throat> if you've done it once or twice, you know how the game goes. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But sometimes, some people want paying on the day. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, just yeah, like yeah. I've said before, like you call out a fucking locksmith to come and fix a lock. You can't tell him like, oh, give me a couple of weeks and come back for that money. No, 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 no. He wants paying today. <laughs> today, bro. Do you know what I mean? Bro, I ain't doing Lock that. Smith. <laughs> no, we'll leave your door open, mate. Do you know that? We'll, we'll leave it open, mate. <laughs> leave it open. There you go. Do you know what I mean? A couple of weeks, I'll come back and put a lock on it yeah, when you've got the money. It's funny what people prioritise all of a sudden, isn't it? Um, mm. Give me, individually, of course, because this is a really interesting uh, conversation because as you were both talking, it suddenly came to my mind. I was like, what is the day of the life? 
of an independent graffiti artist that earns his living through mm. graffiti. I don't know how some people do it, really. I know a lot of people that have already got jobs. Yeah. So, so graffiti is their pastime, their hobby. And if they can do a few commissions here and there and get paid for it, that's even better. That's a Brucey bonus. That's a bonus. Yeah. But <clears throat> for someone that is that classes himself as an independent artist now, not just a graffiti artist, but Yeah, 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 exactly. You know, you put stuff on Insta, you've got stuff on Etsy, you've got stuff on wherever you sell your stuff, that's what's paying your bills. So it's, it's work. It's still work. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You might not have to get up, get dressed. Grind. It's and go grind. out and travel to... Yeah, even if you're doing it at home, man. Like, I'll be indoors for days sometimes, just like, oh, I'm missing all the sunshine, but... I'll, Sunshine ain't paying the bills, you know what I mean? I'll, oh, I'll right. take two days out of that sunshine and make Knowledge. some money. Yeah, you know. You know what I mean? Uh, with me, it's different, like, because well, he's a bit older than me. He's bit, he's, like, <laughs> me, I'm, I don't care. I'm like, everyone, like, like I said, people that know me, they know what I'm, I'm about. And like, obviously, like you said, you've got to pay your bills, innit? So mm. I ain't got time to be sitting about. Sometimes I ain't got time to be sitting on doing maps. Like, I've, done, <laughs> I've done a few, but the map thing ain't really. For me, I'll do it if someone wants me to, do you know what I mean? But like I said, I, I've got other things I want to do, like my clothing, and yeah. I'd rather do that or, or like oh, I'd rather just go out and make some P, mate, do you know what I mean? I've got other things, I've got other grands I can do. So the, the maps are the step for me, the map, the map, not even just maps, because I do other things, but the maps are just a, 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 a stepping stone. To, to the next venture. Yeah, they're just something to do, you know isn't it? I mean? But it's not <clears> something <throat> I majorly do. It's that like pays a few things, things, but it's a it's a stepping stone to the next venture. The next venture for me, after the maps, will be a little clothing range, mm -hmm. t-shirts and hoodies yeah. and stuff. And so, I'll do that next. Mm. But I might as well use the money, if possible, from a few of the maps to put into that because that's what you're mm. supposed to do. Mm. You know I mean, if you make money off something, you're supposed to invest that money somewhere along the line or half of it into something else, so you can double up on your your two fingers in a. You know what I mean? You got a mm. pie there. You've only got two fingers in it now because you've doubled up on something. Mm -hmm. So from maps to t-shirts to t-shirts to hoodies and caps, from hoodies and caps to jackets, and so That's on and so forth, and then wherever you mm. want to take it from there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a few guys out there now that have just stepped their game up a little bit and they want to print T-shirts and get some little labels out there, which is good. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Aerosol Infantry and them sort of... Oh, yeah, big up AI. Yeah, doing the, you know, they yeah. started doing their thing. We got the man there. Get the right people yeah. on board. Everything right. should be growing. You know I mean? mm, exactly. Big up. Big up, Reezy. Yeah, yeah Reezy. Big one T's as well, DDS. Um, uh, plug, man. I, I had to level with you because... I feel like there's a few people out there, and I know me, you had this season as well, but, but Plug just seems to be, you're in this lane, right, where you're, you, you, you do the gully shit and you hang out with the, the, the cool kids and you, you just, you're a, a, a butterfly of sorts. <laughs> multi bender. Like, Yo, you're <laughs> able, you're able to do the gully shit and do your thing, grind, but you're also able to do the hardcore stuff and you go and do the walls and you hang out with the, the other the other types. You know what I mean? You yeah. kind of do your... F and and I, I don't know many people that could kind of just hold that together and still just be like, yeah, I'm doing this, fuck you, I'm going. Yeah, <laughs> like I said, it's about growing up in it and doing what you want to do in it. And like me, like if i got something in my head that I want to do, then I'm going to do that in it. Like, you know what I mean? Like me and Mikey will, me will tell you like what I'm about in it. Like, He'll say that, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell him that, like, but I need to do this. So I'm gonna, and he'll be like, mm, yeah. I'll be like, I'm gonna do this anyway. I don't care. Do you know what I mean? I'm doing this, like. Do you know what I mean? And he might tell me what he thinks about it, but I don't care. I'm doing Hold this. Hold on, and but... this surprises me. This is like this all surprise like, oh, me. You still wanna go do that? Yeah, like, yeah, I'm down, bro. Let's do this now. Do you know what I mean? So I look, like, like I said, and if I wanna go somewhere, like I know people in it. So like I said. Mm. Like big up the crew, do you know what I mean? So mm. it's like I know, you know what I mean? Like it's, yeah, man. I don't mind mingling. I like going out sometimes and hanging out with different people. Yeah, I like hang out. You gotta you know? be about. You gotta be about. Yeah, and I mean, I've always been that person. I'm. I've always been. I ain't been that one band guy. Like I always join go with different people, mm. or I'm around with people that I move with. In it, that's mm. it. So. No, ever since ever since I met you, 
You've been always been solid. Come on. You've always looked out for me. Come on. My guy. Yes. Honestly, you've always looked out for me. Same with you, Mir, you know. Uh, you must see, I mean, you guys are inseparable, first of all. That's the way it appears to be. You guys are just like <laughs> locked in. You're like. Bros, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're on, you, yeah, you know. The, right now, we're the Sunsplash Brothers, as Zombie the, calls zombie us. Calls the Sunsplash <laughs> Brothers. Yeah. I'll tell you, Zombie. Talk to me, why? Big, big why Z. Sunsplash? Don't know I don't that's... know, mate. Like, we were just... we're like, sitting there playing Ludo all the time, innit? Like, Outside Ludo. the shop in the sun, like, we're fucking. Slushies and shit in the summer, just looking like two old grandads. Where's the sand? You know that's what we need. Just two old black Jamaican grandads. <laughs> uh, you, you must see though, because you know you 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 know you've come up, and you must see sometimes in plugging me like yo, oh, you must you must see some traits and that you know because like yeah. you say you've kind of chilled out a little bit, you know you're you're not on those same sort of runnings. You must see some things and you're like, nah, 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 don't do that. Or, yo, hold tight, hold tight. Don't let it mm-hmm. know yet. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, not really. I've been, I've been involved in a little skirmish here and there. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, see, the blood. Don't see, that pixelation wrong. serves him well. You see. But there does, it does, it does come you know. a time every now and again, I'm just like, mm-hmm. And I'll still be like, fuck it, I'm going on my own. Isn't it? I don't care, I'm going in it. Like I said, yeah, I'm more, I'm, I'm, I'm more, I'm, I'm more. I'm back to that that working man mode, if I can, yeah. and the artwork. That's that that's what keeps me kind of sane and keeps me off the road. Really, is mm. is, is is putting the work into the artwork. Mm-hmm. So, I don't yeah. really like being on road, in it. But if I'm on road, I might like... I'm, I'm either chilling at the shop or or, or, mm. I'm, or I'm I'm on my way to paint somewhere. Yeah, time flies when you're out. And, and you time flies. Yeah, there. it's not enough hours in a day. I don't like sitting in my house. I'm not one of them guys. For mm. when I, for when my eyes open in the morning, I have to be up and out doing something. Mm. Whether it's good or bad, I don't care. In it, like I have to be doing something. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, more time. Like, I need to be doing if something. I, if I if I have to, then I'll do like the the household stuff. But other than that, for when my eyes open, man, I'm <coughs> up and I need to be out, bro. Mm. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, can't do the house. I'm kind of the same. It's um, like I love the I love creative stuff. If I can find a way of putting creativity in, but there's nothing better. I kind of like being a, a bumping into you guys like in a random place. Random, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, out there. Turn around and see me like, yo, what's going on, bro? What you doing? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you know the one, uh, and with the lockdown being the way it was, <coughs> uh, graph really was the only thing. That was popping. All the shops had shut. All the pubs had shut. Yeah. No record stores anyway. Like Graf, yeah. going out and seeing Graf. Well, was, Graf was doing it, but that's what I'm saying. That's what Graf is big, isn't it? Because so there's I'm no. Saying. We don't have no rules. We don't care about there's rules. No, there's mm. no. There's no. There's no time limit or. You know what I mean, graffiti rules no, like, and outdoors are there to be broken. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, like I said, man, it's one of them things that keep you sane, mate. Yeah. Everyone else is just sitting there. Looking out there, when they're like, oh, I I've got loads of mates that will go through like depression there. and all. I'll go through that all that depression stuff as well. But at the same time, graffiti just helps you in it. Like you can go, yeah, sitting in your get some paint, man, and just go out and do something, mate. You know what I mean? Mm. And you're due to bump into you're gonna bump into someone else. They mm. take your mind off of whatever you're going through. Do you know what I mean? Or do you know what I mean? See so yeah. you through that day. You never know, man, and you never know how it progresses from there. So. <laughs> You know, like I said, it's just about how you make your shit, really, and how you how you go about your day, really, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So, I love that there's no there's no end goal. Whenever I'm yeah. out, and especially in the graph situation where I'm out, it's just a never ending never ending evening, never ending <laughs> drinking. Never, I know I have to wheel up. This is the first time I've had a drink on a podcast for a while because. I know that if I have three of these a week, oh, you're I'm, finished. Yeah, I'm hung over uh, two days after. Done. So I'm done. It's just because <laughs> I know what you 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 look alike. <laughs> you like, you write mate, as you. Yeah. yeah, apologies, man. Stinking out the, out, out the <laughs> studio and that. Uh, do you know what I mean? But... I'll tie neat and cough. That this is my name. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Oh man. No, big, yeah. big up, big up, the big up, neat and big up, neat and cough every time. Doing their thing. Old school. I also Jeez. feel like when it comes to like your your guys' stuff as a as a when I see your stuff <coughs> together and a double act on a wall, I find, I'm like, yo, like, it, this is the most unlikely because when I see, <laughs> I mean, obviously the colours and whatnot, they're all kind of, but individually, you're so stylistically different. Different, yeah. yeah you know what I mean? Yeah. He's still a young buck. He's still learning still. <laughs> young I mean, buck. I try and tell young him, but, buck. you know, I tell him, follow the outline. There we go. There yeah. we go. There we go. There we nah, go. I'm but yeah. I, like, I like that, though. Like, I've not tried to change his style. Uh, because as you see it, you just know it's, oh, it's plug. It's, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, everyone in, a, everyone in a crew, really, should have their own style. I agree. You know, I mean, you, if you're closer with some people and you get, Influenced by them, then that's all good because you're crew. You yeah. don't, you know what I mean. 
take that E, take that A. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Just change it. I don't, I don't really take people's letters and things but, like that. I, yeah, you got take, weird letters I'll anyway. Take, as a, I'll take your patterns. Or you know, what I, mean? I don't care. I'll take that pattern. I'll put something else with it. I don't mind. You know what I mean, if I like it, but more time, I just do. I just do what comes to my head. Like, no, I love your lining, like your outlines, and it's the less is more approach. In terms of, in terms of scale and individual lettering, mm. but bro, like this deceitfully, like it's deceitfully accurate on the lining. <laughs> like I see it and I'm like, no, no, hold on. Cause he's gone from thin to fat in like a small radius of space. Yeah. And, it's, and you're still maintaining the same letter. Yeah. The shape, the, the shadow. Yeah, yeah man, I don't tell for a <laughs> second, bro. Like I'm like, yeah, that's that's some yeah. articulate Thanks. stuff. Like I said, it comes down to like I said, practicing. And yeah. like I said, that's why I don't really like changing up my letters and doing other styles. Cause when you start doing that, you forget. You start so you doing other things, and mm. you forget where you where your original thing used to be. Like, and you're like, how See, did I used to do that thing before? And you're like, damn. That's the you know thing. What I mean? oh. Then you people go into a whole your... new style. Mm. You know what I mean? And that's why I just stuck with what I do. And some people like it, some people don't. But I don't yeah, give a shit. But... Do you know what I mean? From once it's there, like I said, it's there. It's there. And, and the thing I mean? is, and... a style like is something that's it's recognizable. Mm. Do you know what I mean? There's writers out there like. I, I, I kind of find myself doing that sometimes, but there's writers out there that can do like 50 different styles of yeah. lettering. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So they could do a a goat piece in one style of lettering and then tomorrow they'll do the same, another goat piece in a totally different style. You wouldn't even know it's the same person. But yeah. So that's a style within itself. Yeah. But if you can go, if you, if you go into Trellick or you go somewhere where there's a lot of graph and you instantly recognise something, Mm. And know who it's by. That's because they got a style. Then that's because that's that, that's their style. Whether They're it's shit, that. whether it's wavy, whether it's square, mm. whatever it is, you if you recognise it, then you you could say at least well that's his style. Do you think people recognise a style <clears throat> as to be a style? I know it sounds a little bit inward and all cryptic. You can be stylist. You can be stylistic. Depends who it is, and it depends. Yeah. But yeah, you can recognise it. You could like, like, yeah, I can name people straight away. You can yeah, tell yeah. their style. Yeah, like you know your I mean? guys spat as well. Spat. Oh. Yeah. Spat. Unique. Spat. Um, it's spat. very similar to you again. There's different guys. Yeah, yeah. So with Spat, for instance, where I put you and him in a kind of similar sort of thing is that the deceivingly difficult. It's like it, it, it's hard, it's not an easy thing, it, and you've yeah. got it's got to come from one place because <laughs> no one could copy that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like a yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. You can't do that. People try. People try. Yeah. 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 Many will, but yeah. It's good to see boys down the trellis as well because. That was a surprise. That was a surprise. <coughs> oh, I've been getting busy lately, man. Like, I yeah. love Trillip. Yeah. yeah, well, you know, I'm, since the other day, I don't think I've been down there for about six months, seven months. Mm. Yeah, late last year, maybe. Yeah, I was and I went down there twice time. this year and it was the same stuff down there. Mm. And that's, that's when I just stay away from there. Because you just wait. I've got to stay thing. away from another two months or something yeah. and go down there and see if there's anything different. But yeah, I've been down there maybe twice in the past. Things move two quickly weeks down and there. Things yeah, do once, move once, once the sun Real comes quick. out, man, like shit is gone the right. same day sometimes. <laughs> mm. <coughs> yeah, it's true. So yeah, if you want to see something that was done yesterday, you got to go down there like tomorrow morning mm. before someone just whitewashes the whole thing <laughs> and it's yeah. gone. You know what I mean? It's mad how people, what time people get there for as well. It's mad. Yeah, mm. so I mean, I've been down. I've been down there. I went. I heard. A while back, oh, Merck and Score. No, not Merck and Score. It was Merck and Cause. I'd done a wicked wall down there, ne nearly the whole wall. Oy. And I thought, fuck, all right, let me go down and yeah. check that. And what, the day I heard that, I didn't go that day. I went the next morning, well, the next afternoon, about one o'clock. Mm. And I went down, and I'm looking for this Merck and Cause thing. Gone. There's not a scrap of it left. Like, I did nowhere to be seen. Like, the wall had been gone over already by some... Anybody. <laughs> is that <laughs> right? Is that right? Do you know what? When anybody's come along, I call them anybody's now. When anybody's <laughs> come along and there's no one at the wall. <laughs> if you've not done your homework, which a lot of them don't, they won't know they're going over Merck or Causa. Or maybe they, yeah. they do, but they might think, oh, that's probably been there for like a couple of weeks mm. or something. So you never know. You know what I mean? Mm. That's the thing I used to like about score. If you look at a million score pieces from, from I've known score from the 80s. Every time he does a piece, he puts the date on it. 
on the side of the piece, 14 for the second, 94, or whatever the date really? was. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> Somewhere on his piece is usually the date. So if you go over something, you, you can't say, oh, I didn't know how long it had been there, because he always, he always dates his shit. Has that happened to you where you've gone away and then you come back and your piece is gone? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a few. Trellick. No, you forget it. But your guys, I, I went Probably down Probably when there. I've gone, but never like while I've like, gone like, like, to come back. Like, no that's way. not happening. <laughs> <laughs> Going and I'm coming back, nah, you better just, you better nah, wait till at least I've gone on the I train think my or something. Piece, I don't care. I think in this day and age it's hard, care. but I think my pieces probably last a couple of days down there. Yeah, they did. I was down there, Cutler, I think. Well, it was the weekend, and I was. I went down on the Wednesday, Thursday, and it was still there. Both fields were still there. All oh, right, yeah, we did that the weekend before the, the weekend, yeah. Mm. So yeah, some things last. <clears throat> Maybe it's some of the walls, because some of the walls are better than other walls, and mm. everyone wants to do that good wall. Mm. And they're the walls that go first, isn't it? Mm -mm -mm -mm. the walls that catch the sunshine like for half the day. What year are you thinking, me, in terms of your? Because you obviously go back, fucking. A long time, and your Quite. style's forever evolved. What would you say, as a personally, did you feel like you were really settled with a particular style? What 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 era of Mir? I'm not. <clears> that's <throat> that's the funny thing. I can't. If you look at my, if you if I give you four pieces on paper, you can mm. all you will say, oh, that's your style. Mm. But for me. Maybe they are my style with the little jagged bits or whatever. But I've got a couple of styles, but sometimes they just, I'll just do a piece and I don't know what style it is. Mm. And it doesn't even look like one of my pieces. But people still look at it and say, oh, that's definitely you. Like, I could tell by the little bit in the middle of the A. Or... So, a style is whatever it is, man. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Mm. You get it. it, it works for a little while. You kind of find yourself doing the same flow of letters. It worked for a little while, and then you might just get influenced by something else, and then slowly, within the next five, six, seven pieces, your R's have changed into more squarish than round, or whatever it may be. Like mm. the, the size of your arrows have changed, or whatever. Like, I take in all sorts of little shit, but I get rid of bits, add bits. And if it don't look good, I chuck it all away. Because a lot of the time I'm doing it in a biro straight off anyway. So if, if, I've, if I've messed up one letter, I'll chuck it. And then just start over, all over again with the biro again. And, and sometimes I have to just look at the paper, the bit of paper, and visualise the piece that's in my head or the letters. Mm -hmm. And then it looks like I've, I feel like I'm kind of just tracing them because I can see them on the page. That's what I can do with a biro. <clears throat> without making that many mistakes. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm, I'm used to doing that, and that, I think that kind of helps with creating styles. Because you're not over look, overthinking things and looking yeah. back all the time, because it's yeah. not there. Yeah, or trying to make the last, the, the, the E that you use in the last piece, to use the same E in the, the next, the new piece. I, I try not to do that, but it, it still looks like it's done by me, innit? Mm. So, <clears throat> so that's how people say, yeah, I can tell your style straight away. Mm. Even when I try to make things look a bit different, you still get. But that's what people do. I've seen Tizer when he when he writes when he does a piece that doesn't say Tizer, you can still see it's done by Tizer. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean, same with score, same with funk, same with chords. Yeah. You know what I mean, same with zombies. That's what I'm saying. Everyone's unique. Though, isn't it? Everyone's got their own. They've got their own style. Yeah. And they can do any word, and you but you'll recognize. You can recognize that word. You can recognize who done that word. Even if it's not their name, but even in a, in a dispo in, in that disposable nature of graph, plug like do do you prefer <coughs> the panic and hysteria and endorphin rush of being by a train <laughs> or by an illegal spot and trackside and getting out what you got to get and knowing that it probably won't last longer than a week. Or longer than in twenty four hours. I, I look. I love track sides in this. I'm just because I don't do them at the, at the at right now. Like, bro, I used to love doing missions like that. Like, do you know what I mean? Track sides. They're the best ones. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I don't care. Like, you're not caring about what how much left you got to go. If you see, if you got this one spot on the line that you want to hit, you're gonna hit that. Oh, <laughs> you, you're gonna waste your paint there. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. so no, for I me, I'd rather do that. To me, in reality, I, I'd, I'd rather track sides over legals any day. Like. 
over Ill, over legal. Does the anxiety, yeah, definitely, does definitely, the anxiety definitely. like and all yeah, that? Does that the, is that whole, is that more the rush of the art than yeah, the? That's art the whole. Itself? That's the whole meaning of it anyway. To me, like the, the doing the walls and that, like yeah, that's just a jamming thing. Do you know what I mean? But and the thing with the thing to do with the other side of well. it now. That's like the that's the real deal, man. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And like Basically. I was gonna say, the thing with track side as well. It, it take it, it it takes a bit more effort to go, for someone to go over you. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's not like oh, let me jump on the train. I'll be at Trellick Towers in forty five minutes. I can go over. No, it's different because when someone goes over you on your own track, there's side, an attention. Yeah, you got yeah. you got like, there's, there's a whole wall. Like, miles worth of tracks. Why are you going over? No, no, no. They no. are they asking. You know what I mean? So that's definitely like a no no. That's a it's that's NFA. a decision they made. <laughs> it's <laughs> an NFA. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> definitely. Non forgive action. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. track size last. I've not done any for a, a good while myself. Yeah. But I like to just go past them on a train and it's there. Every day it's there. Unlike a train, like you said, mm. you do a train, all right, you might catch it running nice. It might run for a day, it might run for a week in this day and age if you're lucky, and then it's gone. But a track side, even when it fades, like, mm. especially if you've got the date on it. You know, you know what I mean? There's a plug and it's got like 97 in the jeans. That's cold. It's, and it's still there. You can still... Oh. Yeah. There's nothing like that. I used to love track sides. I've got a track side. Rest in peace, Terror. But me and Terror have got a track side dub just outside Hammersmith that was done in 1990. And it's still there. What? <gasps> I've still got a reach. Still there. I don't know. I think I've still got my reach at um, Wilson Junction on the bridge. Yeah, when you're walking over like, in black. Really? That's been there since 99. What, so as you walk, the bus step up? So we're getting no, some when, you, when you got the overground bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got the long alleyway. Yeah. Like that bridge that you walk over yeah. to go into that little bit of the station. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, on that bridge, when, you walk in, when you're on the Bakerloo platforms, yeah. you look straight back over, you can, I've got a plug reach lean over, plug to the Z. That's been there since fucking 99. Yeah, I need to check that. Like 99, bro. 99. Wow. You can't miss it. I don't know if it's still there. It might be, it might be gone. I only I, passed I've been Wilson Junction for a little while, so... Yeah, yeah. It's one of those places. If you go in somewhere I might forward, have been checked. I might have been checked later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got time. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I, I had a thing and, it, and up until a few years ago, it disappeared like on the little ledge. And now it's gone. And now it's it? gone. Yeah, it's gone now. But it was there for time. <clears throat> and wow. they must have found some balls to move it. But yeah. Is that, fun, is that a fun aspect to graft to be able to Yeah, I like that, man. Because when I've done it, I was like, no one's getting this. No one's doing it's this. It's the high, like I said, it's there every day. Like, where, however many times you pass it, where it was you as know well, it's there. Where it was as well, it was in Junction. It was like on some little ledge. It was like tilted to the side. So right. like, I knew no one else was going to stand on there. <laughs> and your arms had to be long to hold onto the top. So I, that was ideal. So you knew that it was... <laughs> yeah, it was going to go. It, was, it, it weren't going to go nowhere. It was going to be there for a while. It was... Up until they must have got a long roll or something. <laughs> Get just really yeah, right. we'll stand here and move it. People are making some mad manoeuvres. There's like young guns coming out at the moment that are just yeah. rushing. Oh, yeah, listen, going in. There's some young guns. Some next young, y- ones young guns. Are the, the, the next, the, next, the generation. next generation, and what the young guns are doing now, like yeah. so what some of them are doing now, I wasn't even doing. Do you know what I mean? And they are hungry. Yeah. Yeah, hungry on some rowdy shit stuff. Hyena. I mean, hyena levels of Hold yeah. up with the young guns, I know who you are. All you the know young bucks, I don't know, know you. Like... I know all the young bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. anyway. A lot of them not even young, that young anymore. All the good ones, anyway. Doing it. Mm-hmm. But as far as leaders of the young bucks, man, man like Level and... Mm-hmm. Hold tight, His level. little... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they, they're, doing, they're doing what needs, they're supposed to do. Yeah. yeah, they're doing what needs to be done. Keeping that shit alive, bro. Yeah. There's a few South men that are killing it like that. There's a lot, but yeah. yeah. There's a few from other ends, but there's enough South men, I can say a few, but really, yeah. that are actually doing putting in work. Does it uh, does it make you itch? Yeah. It makes me itch sometimes, <laughs> but yeah. that's I, I, I don't really itch because I know how it feels when they were doing stuff or we when I was doing stuff yeah. and some of the old like some of the older ones they'd be like I'm not coming with you like tonight, and then you know for what you're not coming with. Me. You're not gonna come. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Or some of them I know might come, but some they ain't gonna come. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So. See, I'm feeling but like. Like I, I, I know a few young bucks that are on it, and I'm, yeah, man. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'm on the it. Th- anyway. The thing is, the way I see it lately, 
like 10 years ago, I think, the youngers were, like they're still reckless now, but the, I think they were more reckless 10, 15 years ago. Like 18, 19, 20, 21 year olds. Mm. Now, I've seen, I've met a few that are more, that seem more clued up just about life. A lot of them are more clued up about life than, than just being a hooligan on the underground and claiming mm. that they're writers. Yeah, a lot of them yeah. are different to when we were younger, man, because we was out, like, beating up trains and things like that. <laughs> Smashing weed. They were, they're not really on that, do you know what I mean? People talk often about that era and the idea of what it was like. Well, I mean, I was, I was so far removed. I was... But yeah. I used to love getting... Mm -hmm. Like, I used to be with certain heads, like, shout out pies. Yeah, pies. Get me yeah. shout out. Yeah, get me, like, shout out rumour. There's a few other heads yeah. as well. Like, there's a few other men that used to... We used to roll differently... And we used to get on the district line from like Wimbledon, and we used to do like ghost trains, and a lot of the old school man used to do them as well, didn't it? Because you used to like basically take all the lights out, and then when the train pulls into the, the train station, darkness, no, yeah, no one else is gonna get in that carriage. Oh yeah, yeah. That's, that's when, when it pulls into the next station, everyone's looking at that carriage like, yeah, I'm gonna get in this carriage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the lights These on. are the real <laughs> tricks of the yeah, train. Yeah, you know I mean, or you're just yeah. sitting there making mad noises, and the doors open, you're all there making mad noises. That's what we used to do, and <laughs> everyone just be like. Fuck that! You yeah. might, you <laughs> might get the fake, the brave odd brave <laughs> suit coming and be like, yeah, I'm gonna sit in here. But we'd be sitting there making up noise and we'd just trees. take the piss. Like, well, you know, <laughs> do you know what I mean? That, like, that would have just yeah, that would have. Like you say, I'm sure that does happen, but not to the greatest. They don't extent. do that nowadays. You yeah. can't do that nowadays. Nowadays you can't do that. There's a lot of things like even now, like man's not. Man's not pulling like emergency cords and jumping out the back. I'm not doing all those things. Oh Running down God. tunnels. And all. That's yeah, what cats used to do. Yeah, we used to kill that Listen, above. I remember, I think it was Casby or Kane, Foam, one of them guys told me years ago, this is mm. even before you lot was doing that, T mm -hmm. or the DDS, and years ago, that's what they used to do. Do you know what I mean? Pull the emergency cord, everyone jump out. Yeah. And paint the train because the train would sit there for like 15 minutes. The time minutes. the driver's got to come out and do minutes. this, that's the chain. And he don't really give a shit anyway. Yeah, he's got to the whole chain to come and pull. You do it in a certain that. part of the tunnel yeah. where you know it's like there's a ladder and an escape hatch somewhere or other, not too far. So, yeah, yeah. so what? You're above. pulling the cord just when you get to a certain piece. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I actually did say going to a certain person's house, isn't it? Yeah. And we used to do it all the time. And we used to stop at the set, the same spot all the time. And so you got we, to an art and it was just like... Yeah, until it's a perfection. And so we used to just jump out. And then sometimes if we got paint, pen, whatever, man, just blitz the train, you know what I mean? Take the piss and <laughs> walk over and just go to my yard like, and chill. You know what I mean? That's <laughs> insane. But we used to do like the Mets as well, like still trains pulling up from Finchley Road. You stop it in between like Wembley Park. Yeah. Blitz it. Jump over like you know you got yeah. the garages or whatever yeah. all the way along the lines. Just jump yeah. over, man. Go on. Those 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 trains were I don't know they kind of had that kind of feel like you could get. They just seemed to be a lot more. I don't know. Maybe it's just like that old school. Young, like young and reckless. When we was young and reckless, and you don't give a fuck. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. They just pulled out a lot. Like, shout out. Yeah. Yeah. The train <laughs> that screeching and that. Like, so basically, yeah. the driver thinking, oh, "What's going on? What the now? fuck's going yeah. on?" So he sits there for five minutes before he does anything. Then he's got to get up. He's got a radio through, through. He's got a radio, radio through. that through. Yeah. And then walk Security, through the whole sure. train to see who's pulled in. Off, all By then, you've all, all jumped that. out. <laughs> By then, like, you 50 know. minutes have gone, like, you know what I mean? Train <laughs> fucked on the one panel. <laughs> gone. Ow. By the time he rolls in, he's like, what the hell happened to your train, bruv? Yeah. He's like, what? It's like, it's decorated down the other end, <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't know what's going on. Like, Style in the I'd house. hate to be a train oh, driver back in the day, man. You know what some I mean? Some passenger said, oh, there were six guys just jumped out Excuse me, if you've got four carriages with lights out, do you know what I mean? You'll be like, what the hell? Mm. You know what I mean? I checked my train, it was working. But being a graph writer back in the day, and this is only through the God knows how many episodes I've done here, you know, the, the, uh, one thing I love about the podcast, by the way, is that mm. each one gives a nugget of gold that acts as a tapestry to everything else. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's just a... It's it's it moves yeah. and <laughs> and one thing that I do take away from the entirety thus far of podcasts is their graph back then, but both your ears <clears throat> to now it seems to be that there was a there wasn't a different sort of baggage. It was a lot more mm. uh, b -b bullish 
It was a lot more <laughs> aggressive. It came with a lot of... It, the, it was more the, aggy, like. Yeah, like, it was gang-related graph, although it was graph as we know it. Yeah. It was a different yeah. It wasn't energy. gangs, it was that crew. It was the, crew yeah, crew but with a it. gang mentality. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You could say, yeah. yeah but then you say way, that, but then, like... So a lot of people, if people like me even, when I used to see one of those crews back in the day, do you know what I mean? I used to think, oh, who's that? Right, that's a... But as I grown up, a lot of the people know it. They're all in the same. Do you know what mm. I mean? It's, it's the same thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. he, could, he, like he, he could be putting up KTC, but he could be TBA, you know, whatever. Yeah, do you know? Yeah. He's TBA, like or whatever else. Do you know what mm. I mean? Same as me. I'm. Mm. You know what I mean, people know in it, like so. But do you think that's that's exclusive to you guys? Because as I was saying earlier, you 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 guys have just this charm of being able to move, and everyone just like you buck with everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. You get around, you're gonna end up. Like I said, it's all about how you everyone. carry yourself, in it, and how you yeah. talk to people, in it. Yeah. If you come disrespectful, who's gonna respect you, bro? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If you're gonna treat people like shit, or yeah. you know what I mean, no one's gonna actually respect you. Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie, back in the day, yeah, I was a, I was a bit of a bastard, but a lot of people, like, they're like, oh, you've changed, man. Like, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, what do you expect? Well, I could be that guy, but I don't want to be that guy. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm getting, I get, I get told off by the elders for being horrible, so I try to be a nice person now. So mm -hmm. it's not even being a nice person; it's just, you know, it's just whatever. Yo, I don't want any comments below. You hear me? <laughs> but I do not see that, bro. I'm like, what? This is what I'm saying. Yeah, like. I guarantee there's people sitting out there saying, oh, "I remember when that fucking plug guy fucking took shit off me and me and my mate." Or yeah, rah rah rah. rah. But isn't that like a good, bro? Isn't that like a kind of? Do you know what though? In this day and age, you know what? Some people. You know who you are out there. And some people wear that shit like a badge of honour nowadays. Yeah. Right. Do you know what I mean? Oh, fucking hell. Like, I remember about 20 years ago, man, you took all my paint and... Uh, and they're cool, you know what I mean? <laughs> they just, Real you know... They, oh, what they, what, and they like that. that now, now it seems, yeah, like I said, it's like some kind of badge of honour. I bet you were crying about it for 10 years and now that you've met me, you're just like, 10 years later, you're like, oh, mate, like, yeah, I'll take some more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's... Yeah, it's funny, man. It's, people are funny. Sometimes graph is like, you know, everyone's got a... Like Prince, everyone's got a... Anyone that's in the industry got a Prince story, you know? Like, <laughs> it's that sort of thing with graph. You know, if you've got a... You yeah. know, you've got a story about Sunside so and that, you know. There's always yeah. stories, man. Well, you guys live it 24-7. There's bound to be something going on. <laughs> well, but sooner, sooner or later... Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't really get into shit, but sooner or later there's always something that comes up. Take care of. Is it environmental? Is it because you're out all the time or you're in those kind of situations where, yo, like, we're already doing something wrong. <laughs> of course there's going to be something else wrong that's going to happen in a minute. Do you think there's a little bit of that, that synergy to that? Do you know, do you know yeah. what? You see... You, you aren't like seeing said, these pixelated like faces, said, but there is this kind of road, chin scratch. Well, I'm not... Uh, road, yeah, road, be, really. being, on road, <laughs> being on road and being a, a civilian, is, is, <laughs> is it, it can be different. You know, like the average person doesn't get up. Well, let's say the average person gets up, has a shower, has breakfast, goes to work. Someone who's not part of a corporate company and doesn't do a nine-to-five like that, or a road person still has to get up, have a shower, have something to eat, go out on the road. Might not even eat. And in your daily routine, you've got to worry about how many police is going to be over there, what ticket inspectors there. There's a million things that go that you have to pattern and go through your mind every day <clears throat> just because you're not that corporate person and one of that rat race that just goes and does your nine to five. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the average nine to five person ain't worrying about getting stopped by the police or, you know what I mean, being harassed in a park or getting chucked finding off the money, a train. Finding or, the money for this or finding... Yeah, they ain't going to yeah. worry about all that. They ain't going to worry about all that. But that's because you've grown up and you've just lived that... that preppy, chino-wearing corporate life. You know what I mean? Your mummy told you that you have to be go and get a good job and you became an engineer and now mm. you go to work and do your nine to five. So you got nothing, you got no idea about the street. Mm. And, uh, do you know, it's a totally different lifestyle. It's a totally different lifestyle. But then you get those people that go and do their corporate job and then go and do a bit of graph on the weekend. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wind mm. down. A mm. bit of sniff, a bit of graph. Mm. Yeah, I'm not so, so, yeah, so graffiti is it's, it's just gone in. It's, it's, it's kind of just 
blotted into all kind of people's lifestyles. Mm. And a lot of them are not really. If you you know if if you never came up in a certain era, it's almost too late. You know I mean, when I hear people talk about, oh, I'll be writing ten years. Ten years. Where the fuck have you been? Do you know what I mean? In this day and age, that's nothing. Ten <laughs> years go you, past bro? like two years. Do you know what I mean? So when you're telling me, oh, I've been writing ten years, and then you show me your stuff, and I'm like, even now, I'm like, mm. you've been writing ten years, and your stuff still looks like this. Like you've had, you've got forty years, fifty years worth of graffiti to look back on, to copy, even mm. if you have to really. And you're showing me this, this ten years worth of experience on a piece of paper. Yeah, that's such yeah. an interesting angle. Yeah. Oh, mate, people don't even understand me sometimes. Mm. I like when people say they've been graphing for time, and then you watch them and like their hand style or the way they hold a can or something. It's like you don't know how to graph. Really, immediately you can see. Yeah, the way you're the way way you're coloring in, mate, just telling me you don't know how to graph. Do you know what I mean? (laughs) Like you're using that whole tin on that one spot. It's gonna die in a minute. You ain't even finished the rest of your fucking (laughs) game, bro. (laughs) You've been graphing for that long. All right, mate. Yeah, more like ten minutes. I'll be honest. After everything I just said, there is a point where you know some people don't accelerate in their artwork. Well, do you think there's a ceiling for for just? Some people they just they just hit the the, the ceiling. They they, they 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 they're not they they don't really do graffiti, but they started to do graffiti. You've been doing it for five years. Now you think your letters look all right? Okay, they might look all right. After ten years, there's enough. Like I just said, there's enough catalog of artwork for you to be influenced more than what what you're actually doing. But yeah. like I said, not everyone accelerates at the same time. <clears throat> and the not everyone has as well. A the colour thing as well, like l- knowing the colours and the skin. Yeah, yeah, it's all a learning process. All, mm. this, is, this is the thing. Some people, which which I can kind of understand in part, like when I was down at Trellick, I can't yeah. remember who asked me, but they were like, you're going to start painting yet, Keller? And I'm like, yo, this podcast is not a right to fucking passage. <laughs> if one thing I fucking learn is like, you don't just grab a, pa- a can and you go and do so. And furthermore, like you say, I, it's like... The, you take it seriously. You cannot just grab yeah. a thing and think, yeah. oh, that's mine now. Oh, even nah. if it's 10 years, you can't do nah, it. No, because it's, it's like anything. If you're a punk rocker or a mod or a, or you love ska or you love reggae or to the bone, like, that, that's your life. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So when I see skateboarders or rollerbladers or whoever come and say they want to be graffiti artists, like... How many subcultures do you want to be in? Mm. Like, a, a subculture is something you really get bred into and you grow and you feed. And it becomes you, you. And it becomes you and all your people. That's your subculture. So if, you're, if you like ska music, you and your cats cut your hair that funny way, you wear black and white clothes, that's your life. You go yeah. in your bedroom, your rug's black and white, your bed sheets are black and white, you you got madness on the wall, da 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 You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's your life. Mm. So... As, a, as someone who loves Scar now, you've been listening to Scar, that's you've been in your life for 30 years, and all of a sudden you pick up spray can and call yourself a writer now. Like, mm. That's not a right, like you said, it's not, there's rights of passages, and coming from one subculture and jumping on this for five years, mm-hmm. that's not a right of passage. That's not the one. Like, you know what I mean? And even to the fact where I don't call these new painters, that are, I don't call them writers, because writing is what you begin, is like you're born and bred into mm-hmm. that. Do you know what I mean? Into a system. You're born and bred into that. You're born and bred into stealing pens, yeah. nicking shit from school, yeah. mm-hmm. taking art books, this, that, killing Ryman's, this. All these new painters, the minute they start painting, and for 15 years now, you can go in a shop and buy all the colours you want. And that's where they're starting. Mm. They got their credit card. They got whatever money. That's another thing. They go buy their these shit. Not for these new writers as well. Now they're, they're, they're asking you. So what do you think is the best thing? And it's like, bro, do you think when I was younger, I was you, asking any see, elders? If you was a writer, you'd you know, know, I mean? you know, know all them bits. Research. Mm. Do you know what I mean? We had to, exactly. We was going out like, hitting our own things, mm. man, and do you know what I mean, and working our own way, man. You know, 
Dude, a lot of these writers nowadays, they're like asking questions. And it's like, bruv, you're not asking a bit too much questions, mate. Just do your thing, bruv. Like, yeah, at least you've got the gut. Like when someone's asked me thing. about beatboxing, I'm just so, oh, well, yeah, hit it. And it's like, after a while, it's just direct. It's like you're <laughs> yeah. like, taking the water out of my well. You know what I mean? I'm just like, like oh, just, it's yeah, just, stop, you know. Yeah, just do your thing, bro. Yeah. Don't ask me. you might me. find something that you don't know yeah. or something. Yeah, 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 yeah always. Saying. I used to follow elders sometimes. Sometimes I learned your roots. And then after a while, I know where you lot go. Mm. So I just go and do my own thing. And then eventually, I start meeting people myself. Mm. Do you know what I mean? That's what I used to do. I used to go out doing insights on my own. And eventually, you just meet other writers. And See, that's how it was. No. And then... You don't, you don't get that, though. No, no, you, no, do, you yeah. don't get that. You don't get the you don't get the ivory tower doors open. A lot of, right? a lot of writers yeah. will, 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 will go remember meet... going out and just like... Meeting you, you people on a, the line. You'll go, or... you go to a brew race shop. Yeah, and you'll raise some brews, you get yourself like three brews, whatever, start the day, let's you know, you get on the train, bang, you smash some insides, you might go Can to... Just add, he said start the day. <laughs> start the <laughs> day. Yeah. It's going to have been like 12 in the afternoon or some shit. Because it's daytime anytime. business. Day. Anytime, yeah. If you're doing... Like, if you're, you're doing, you're doing lines, it. Yeah. <laughs> so, you, you know what I mean? You get a few beers, you go out on the line and you just start doing insides. Eventually... You're going to come to a few stops and you're going to meet some heads. You're going to bump into... Before you know it, there's like 20 of you and you're all on it and everyone's out doing the same shit and it's, it becomes ridiculous. You're like, yo, this is too much. See, those days are, those days are practically gone. Now. Really? Are they, I don't want them to... I don't want to hear that. Nah, <laughs> if, you gone, was, if you was a new writer <laughs> and you thought, all right, let me go out on the train, on the, on the line and see what's happening. Like, as a new writer... You're probably gonna see me, and that's no, it. No, no, <laughs> no. As a new, as a new writer, you go on, you go on a train, you go on a couple train lines, and you wouldn't I'm meet, you lines. probably wouldn't meet anybody, because in this day and age, you don't know what a writer looks like now mm. nowadays. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. A writer, a, a writer, like I said, that corporate guy who goes to his corporate job every day, that might be a writer who has to carry a briefcase and wears, a, and wears a suit, yeah. might still have a pen in his pocket yeah. and get some little sly reaches on his way home on the train. So you don't know what a writer looks like nowadays. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so like if you were in a situation back in the day and you... S I mean, what's the what's the temperature in which you approach somebody just to <coughs> check with Eric? I mean, I See, think... back in the day... You, know, you didn't back have in the day, to. You, you, could, you could walk. You knew. You let's, knew. let's just say, all right, I'm at my house. I'm going out writing tonight. I'm going bombing on the line. What line for a start? All right, I know. If, all right, let me go hit some Northerns. I know if I'm hitting Northern line trains... This is mid eighties, late eighties. If I'm hitting Northern Line trains, all right, I'm gonna bump into whoever I bumped into, whoever, Fuel, mm. Colt Forty Five, Prime, Sham, all them, all them lot, Northern Line kings, event, all of them, all, Zombie, all of them lot, Northern Line. They were all, they were all Hold bombing Northern Line. Hold tight, tight, all of them, all of them. Yeah. That's a Northern Line. So I could go anywhere on the Northern Line, whoever it may be, but I know them man usually hit Northerns. Yeah. All right, let me. If I go on the Met though, nine ten o'clock. I might see some of the Northern Line writers, mm. but I'm going to probably see a whole load of different writers mm. who just hit the Met. And, and back then, you could walk down the platform and there'd be a cat sitting on the on the platform just really? standing like that. Just, look, just standing like that, looking at the trains. Watching you know, that, yeah. straight away. Might, you look down, he's got ink on his jeans. That's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. You could be on the train, Give he away. could be sitting over there, and you could just look at his jeans and be like, Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, he's just like that. Yeah. yeah. Or the belt buckle might be the, showing. The or, you know what I mean? Or the, the fat trainers, laces give it away. You yeah, know what I mean? Tar, the, the train tie, like, from the track or like, the train oil, like, the train trainers as well. Like, you're not getting that off, but I'm like, yeah, he's a rattle. Just look at man, like, yeah, he's a rattle. That's a bit, so a bit of ink or something on your hand or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah that's, I mean, bro, that's, that's, that's just my um, imagery in my head is and and a lot of this as well like I've, you know I'll I, I check out Rock in the City you know what I mean yeah. and I know rockinthecity.com and I know facts like there's a lot of from back in the day there's stuff that is just I mean big up fuel again you know and mm. all those guys big because they literally so much so much train action that yeah. just yo, if yeah. it weren't for things it like that it makes me jealous just <laughs> yeah mm. I had so much things going I wasn't just a writer I was a road man I had so much other things going on that when all these guys are going yards and doing trains and trains and trains, like they might be going like yard like two, three times a week. I'd be going yard, yard, like I'd be out bombing anyway, but specifically going yard, I might be going yard like once mm. every two months or mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? They would, they, yeah, they would just super on it as much as, as much bombing as I managed to do, but mm. 
those guys were su- super on it. I don't super think I think on you're it. you're not the only person that shares that feeling that I should have done more <clears> at the time when it was my. When you look at all them old school photos now, there's there's just some classic. Bro, like, there's some classics. There's some classic pieces that just just keep getting reposted. Or yeah, I'm not gonna lie, a lot getting... of my old school shit disappeared in it because a lot of the time things I done I done with certain other people. So more time I wasn't really into carrying cameras and all that shit. Mm. Yeah, I never Do you know really what I mean? did that either. Because mm. like I said, I had, I had a criminal record, brother, and like, for me to be thing. carrying all that on me, that's long, bro. Photos on it and it shit. It was all in my head, innit? Like, <laughs> I just got to remember that I did that, innit? And when... Yeah, more time, you know, it, it, even in this day and age, it, surpri- mm-hmm. it surprises me the, the pictures that I see that get posted, that I've, things that I've seen that I thought, oh, no one never see that. And then all of a sudden there's people, or someone's posting someone's a picture posted of it, yeah. it's, it's, Things have always it's been seen. It's kind of the beauty of it's of mad. Of it's still it's, it's it's a lovely. It's a good feeling, man. Because we'll start away to you, and obviously you, you put a lot of time and effort into it. There's a there's all the risk elements and stuff, but it's mm. kind of nothing more. I don't know. It's like when someone shares a beatbox video just on their phone of me yeah. beatboxing a thing, and I don't remember it. <laughs> and I see it, and I'm like, oh yeah, I played that yeah. thing, and they'll tell you exactly what you did, and you know. More time, yeah. they'll be like, oh, you fucking smashed it, bro. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. And, and then you see it on a thing and you're, you're like, like oh, you know, I guess that's kind of a same thing as a <laughs> graph, isn't it? Yeah, Definitely. yeah, yeah. It does kind of get the endorphins going sometimes and people are just like, oh, mate, that was killer. Mm. I've done things. You know when you do a piece and you do the piece and you don't like it? You're not feeling it at all. Sorry, that's banging, man. And people are just like, yeah, mate. That's proper, yeah. Like that. That's me. That's like normally that. <laughs> the likes yeah. of me and you lot out there. Yeah. Is it? Oh, yeah, okay, I don't really like it, but if you like it, cool. You know what I mean? If someone says, oh, look, I like the way you've done that bit into that, but I never thought about that. Like, mm-hmm. like neither did I. That's oh, why I did yeah, like I just, that. <laughs> I said, I didn't think about it either. That's, that's the thing. Like that. That's the yeah. thing. I'm not that guy no more. I, I don't go to a wall with an outline sketch and be copying it off the paper. So when something doesn't look right to me, then it might look all right to the 15 people behind me, you know what I mean? Because they don't know what it's supposed to look like anyway. Only I know what it's really supposed to look like. Oh, and over here we have a graffiti proper. writer and they are doing pieces <laughs> He's doing letters, live. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, tour. Tour. Yeah. Tour All right, so listen, you've both been on before and if you guys have not checked out the previous podcast, you know what I mean? This is a more casual... Sleeping. Yes, A, you're sleeping. Long. B... You'll be forgiven for thinking that our relaxed nature isn't just because we are friends. It's because we have we have exceeded our quota of, a, of dangerous talk on the previous ones. Yeah. Jeez. Woo. But what I would like to ask you, boys, <clears throat> I mean, we're talking now. I mean, we're in the first 60 podcasts you guys were on. Deadly man. 60. Deadly, <laughs> come on. Deadly 60. But uh, I want to know individually, what's changed? Since the last time we did, I mean, 250 summit plus by the time this comes out, it's going to be 260 summit, I'm sure. Well, for me, my biggest thing was that, like I said, when I spoke to you last time, I wanted to, I was starting my label, and now that I've got it going, mm-hmm. I've got a few things going, I've got a few things in my pipeline, I've got a few people that want to work with, man. So, yeah, it's, things are kind of looking up in that aspect. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, like, like I said, for my last for my last interview that I've done with you, yeah. To me, that's got to be, for me, that's my biggest thing, really. Mm. I ain't going to lie. Like, like I said, I'm looking just to make my shit blow. Mm. And do you know what I mean? Do a few bits of work that I've got to do with some people still. So, I'm yeah. to get one of them bags off you. Mention my <laughs> names. <laughs> yeah, you, you they're you going can. quick. Yeah. Peter LDN 79. Oh. Come on. Copyright. Get that. It's copyrighted, mate. Long See. time. <laughs> Don't even bother with it. Yeah. Bad enough with the games, the... mate. I'm never gonna say it anyway. Let's not go there. See, this is an anti-edit episode as well. These guys are being dead careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Minsky, what, what about you? Come, what, what's what's changed since I come in? I mean, I think the time you was here, what, I mean, it was never Christmas, wasn't it, or something? And yeah, we were just, literally yeah. just here, just drawing and pe- drinking and. Yeah. Uh, like I said, well, so when I was there before, I think I've been doing the the little. I just started doing the little maps. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I've been doing them for a few months, and now it's just escalated into the big maps and then the collaboration maps. And then, like I said, same thing he's doing uh, a little clothing thing is in the pipeline. I've got this me, me, me thing going on. Mm. If you know, you know. Mm. So I'll be dropping some of that. And then I've got another 
I've got another little venture, another little clothing venture that might pop off, but I I'm not going to say nothing about that. I'll stick with the me, me, me. Mm -hmm. We'll see how that goes. You were very vocal, <laughs> from what I remember anyway, about the, the street art thing. Uh, at the time, it was there was this kind of imbalance. People didn't know where they stood with it. <clears throat> Moving forward... It's almost like well, it, it's it's not it's kind of come and gone, and like you're, what's able to be ha to be uh, um, the the leverage that is got, got gotten from you guys out of it is that you're able to do these things, mm. and you're kind of off the radar of the other bullshit. You're just able to facilitate what you want to do. That's a that's a actually a huge leap compared to like some of the conversations we were actually having well, a couple yeah. <laughs> the year ago. It's a little, it's a, yeah, it's a step forward. Just got to keep stepping forward. Like I say, yeah, there's always plans in your head, in it, but you got to stick with the realest ones, in it. So oh, I can yeah. say that I want to do this, that, and other, but in yeah, my head, can, yeah. the realest plans are for me is to make my label blow, mm. get my stuff out there, and you know, mm. just do what I'm doing, in it, like because mm. ain't nothing gonna change me. So, but other than that, like anything else in between, like I say, it's always a Brucey bonus, bro. So. <laughs> Well, you kind of represent your brand, and if you're that, if this is you doing something different, will that will alter people's perceptions of what you're about and what the clothing line's about? Well, yeah, it? exactly. It's it's, yeah. it's all a bit. Of, it's all it's all progression, mm. and like for 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 cats that are in 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 this graph game now, that are just looking at it as oh, I'm out there bombing, I do this, I do that. All right, cool. It's, that's what it is for you now. But if it becomes your passion, and in, in ten years' time, you need to start getting good. Then, so you know, you can make a living out of mm. this now passion that you've got. So when they see other elder writers moving on, mm. then it's yeah, it's something for them to make. That's the thing as well. My name's still hot at the moment, but it's, even though I was quite annoyed a bit at the moment at the before, but mm. it's like. You know, everyone's using my name, so mm. it's like I just gotta do this stuff now in it while I can, in it, bruv, because it's mad. Yeah. It's like before when I was writing plug, bruv, no one was writing, no one had nothing like that, bruv. Now I've got so, there's so many Uggs, this, that, and the other. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And Does that do you in? Because yeah. it's not annoying. Sometimes it, it is, is, but sometimes it is. Me. No, it's not annoying. Any, like any, I said, any I was, man's right, been, any, I was any there any first. Any name that, mm. that, that looks like or sounds like your tag? And you've had your tag for your tags established, didn't it? Isn't yeah, of course. That's why I mean? the band do it. So that's why I'm not really bothered. You know I mean, I know, you know when I was doing my name, no one was doing that. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So yeah. that's why I'm not really bothered. But that, like, that's that's where a little bit of the I know who started it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't. That's, really... that's what, like I say. That's where the, a little bit of the authenticity is kind of but like, that's drowned where... because years ago the ethic, just one of the ethics of the game. You can't have a tag that it sounds, sounds similar like mine or, or looks anything. Like yeah. mine or, like I said, I could be a naughty mean? guy and start being anti and doing all that shit, bro. But like I said, I ain't got time for yeah. it. I'm a big man. Because it right comes now. with a whole different energy. It's it's like, yeah, it's it's like, like I I'm said, trying it's, to go job for some lot of idiots, yeah. bro. Right now, bro. Like, I mean, it's, it's all ingrained. It's all ingrained in history who came first. Yeah, and exactly. Who I know. I know where I come in it, so yeah. I don't need to be pre and down little heads like. Do you know what I mean? It's so hard, isn't it? Because when a scene blows up, it's the same with every every sort of like art form. These people. I don't think they intentionally forget. I think they just don't know. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of history to know. Nah, be man, people know, bruv. I don't care. It's not that you don't know. Some cats know. You know, like, bruv. These new youngers, they just don't know like what the ethics of the game Put used to way. be. You might be a grapher. You might say, you might be. A, you might not be a grapher. Mm. You might hang around with people that graph. Yeah, so you come up with a tag and you say, oh, I'm going to write this. And they say, no, you can't write that because so-and-so writes that. That's someone telling you. Mm. After that, whether you choose to write that tag or not, it. That's down to you. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So when you meet that other person and say, oh, I'm writing this and you can't write that and, and you get yourself into shit, you can't look to your mates to help you, bro. Because <laughs> man's done told you already, you can't write that tag. So if you want to stick to it and go on like you're bad, when you meet that person, then you just better what, be that guy. <laughs> Do you know what? Be that guy, bro. Cause... That's old. That's that's one of the old rules. That's one of the old ethics. Yeah, mate. But those sort of ethics, are just like, like I said, they seem to have been just, they just died out. Yeah. New, 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 new guys don't really know. A lot of new guys, some do, some, some do their history. Yeah, you know I mean, like, no, nah, man. I, some I, I, do I, their history, I don't really, I'm not really, in, I'm not really one of them keyboard warrior things. I'm not in it mm. unless <clears> someone <throat> says something or does something, and I've only had to do it 
luckily, once on Instagram. And people will know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know, in it, but I don't really need to go into it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, do you know what I mean? But, but I don't have to, don't, I don't want to be doing that, getting at people and embarrassing people and lying all that It's long, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. See you when I see you. So. Uh, so all that, I don't, I don't do the Instagram. I mean, I'm, I do Instagram, but I don't do Instagram bullshit. I ain't got time. It takes too much of your mind space. Forty yeah. percent of your day, I'll be waiting for a response on something. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> I can't do. I can't do with a lot of the stuff. I get my. I, I see. I notice. I get myself drawn in sometimes. I yeah, sit and look, just scrolling up for like an hour and a half, two hours, reading little things and catch myself after two hours. Put the phone down. Like, what was all that about? And then, if you ask me, what was you just looking at? Yeah. I couldn't probably couldn't tell you because it's just like. <laughs> And it's just gone. Yeah. So half of it's not worth looking at. So a lot of things I don't bother. I need to clean out my Insta as well, man, because there's just yeah, I, it's I too know much shit. There's too many <laughs> peers, I know, but mm. you know I mean? can't help it. Sometimes I see like people following people, and like I'm like, yeah, like everyone follows everybody, and I'm like, yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of things on your feed. Since, since yeah. I've yeah, exactly, and since I've been since I've been on it, I've noticed. That's how I don't noticed see a lot that. Of things. Mm. I've noticed a lot of people have connected with people you would never ever meet, or it take you years to meet, mm. and you're talking to these people like like you and like they they one of your good mates like you've known them for years. I said that recently. I was like, how do you know that person? <laughs> yeah. like, so what some minute. people do is because I've noticed, I've seen people on my that follow me that don't know some of the people that I know, Same. and then they start following me, and then latch on to them people that I know. Start following them, which is what people do on Insta anyway, and then start talking to them like they know, they've known them for like for years. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you said earlier, <laughs> approach. Don't be that guy. Be fucking cool. Mm, mm. You hold yourself right. Yeah, if you come with that, if you come stuff. right, then you're good. You get dealt. With, you get dealt right. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But, but yeah, it's it's just one of the it's one of the little set but it's just like watching getting sucked into youtube that's all it it's is all it's just, well, yeah. you watch what you want to watch in it but then after a little while your brain just says oh what's that oh what's that oh what's that and you just keep clicking and before you know you've been on there for like, two hours like, <laughs> yeah man shout out pete and bass but i've been doing that bro. That's what i've been doing that. <laughs> yeah man i'm like, killing it hey i can't help it hey, you just got me into this i was like on one tune i'm playing another five but they're like i'm killing it that's me yeah man i like, don't care yeah man i'm like, killing it pete, just... big up pete and bass you rag on <laughs> Yeah, but you write on, as on the like, block, they're you, killing you're it. On like, they're south side as well. <laughs> you write as on like a below level thing though, because uh, you know you guys aren't often online. You're on some other maneuvers that are that are off people's yeah. radar because people are always on the socials. They're not looking outside of their window. They're not. That's see- what I mean. It's like the headphones are always on. I see. They can't hear we, shit. We, we probably see a lot of things people don't see because after the time you're either sitting in your office like that on your head, phone, head down phone, yeah, or. Or you're doing whatever else, but you ain't you you ain't with us. Mm. You don't go to the streets that we you don't you don't, you don't move to the ends of mm. we. You know what I mean? Ten o'clock in the morning, we could be in Brixton. Half eleven, we're in Fulham. Mm. One o'clock, we're in Bethnal Green. Three o'clock, we're in West London, not in Illgate, Shepherd's Bush, Trellick. It can be anywhere. Some of the fittest. By seven o'clock, we're in Croydon. Well. Like you guys you know I mean? been like walking everywhere. In a day. I mean, not that we got to scoot the finger. Like, like, I'm going to say I'm missing scoots at the ah, moment. Yeah. Yeah. I'm even talking about scoots yeah. at the moment. I'm missing my baby, but yeah. no. Nah, I don't put petrol in night was, trainers yet, but I'm on, I still footwork, bus, and I'm still, yeah, a man still, skimming through on trains and underground and what they can't stop that. us, bro. All of that. So, yeah, within a day, we could be in like, six different places in a day. But you know when you were like, so... You know when you first watch Avatar the movie and you're like, wow, that looks amazing. <laughs> what you've just described there sounds awesome. Sounds unpredictable, <laughs> sounds dangerous, sounds fun. Sounds like you're going to go out and see where the world takes you. Yeah. You're going to do some paint, you're going to do some yeah. have a drink, you're yeah. going to see someone and then it, what's the day? Don't know. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> see who phones me. You know what I mean? That that's... sounds like the best fun. <laughs> that, that's what that's I'm what saying that's about. What about. And then, you know, then some days like man will phone me 10 o'clock in the morning like oh, what are you doing today I'll be like right first of all I'm going to be here for another two hours I'm going to get this map finished and then after that is after that so I'll, I'll get the little bit of business I'll get a bit of the artwork done 
that's money in the bank. And then the rest of my day is Fuck about that. whatever it might be. You know what I mean? I can live. I can live like that. as long as there's an income coming in from there and there and maybe over there. Sometimes, I'm I'm living. I'm living, man. My kids are good. I'm living. That's the you know artistiness. I, mean? I love that feeling. You know when you've had an end of week and you're like, actually, you know what? I can sit back and reflect. I did that. That happened. I got paid for that. Da, da, da. Yeah. And I'm kind of at peace with that. Like I don't expect yeah. the earth. I just know that what I put in, I like to get out. That's what yeah, I mean. Yeah. Well, that's what I like to do as well, mate. I like to get something out of whatever mm. I do. So. Even if I take two days off during the week and don't do nothing, go chill at Chrome and Black for two days straight. That's long, but sometimes I can do that because Saturday I might still be doing artwork or Sunday I'll still be doing artwork. And as long as it's done by the week, I'm kosher, mate. Time you know stands mean? still yeah. in those graffiti shops. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, if they didn't have any... Wait, they ain't even got windows. <laughs> To understand one <laughs> door and a shot, you know what I mean? You know, if they'd pump oxygen, you'd be awake. That's all you be need. Alive in there, boy. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> sauna. That's all you need, mate. These graffiti shops have no windows, yeah, no looking in, yeah. And you know, we come in, no looky, looky. If you look dodgy, we shut you it's in, like an Irish pub, or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, you would you want to get in? <laughs> yeah, would you? Yeah, there's no looking through the windows. <laughs> get in there, yes, man. <laughs> Come on. Uh, do you think this will ever end? Do you, not, not do you in my life? Not in my lifetime. Not what I'm about, mate. Really? So it is. It's this is you're holding flag. This yeah, is it, will never, there, it will never man. end for me. There's no new careers for me yeah. right now. There's no new careers. This is this is it. Right, my career. This is it. My graphic. You know I mean? My label. This, this is it. There's new things to new ventures to get onto. Get a new house. Get something better, man. <laughs> it warms my heart to hear you say that because you know, as, as a fan. Friend first, fan after. Right. It's it's fucking, you know, they'll knock down, a, you know, a rock and roll bar, Irish pub, a hip hop store, a record store. They knock them things down, but the heart and soul, like even this house here, that's in the people, going, man. man. That's in the, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Got to hold it. It's in your, exactly. Holding it down. It's in you. Yeah, you know I mean that you could, you yeah, you could knock down a club, but if that club's been standing there for 25, 30 years. And four different generations of people have been to that club. Like, there's an essence there. Yeah. Knock the club down, mate. You know what look I mean? Look at Granary's, mate, in Streatham, man. Yeah. Like, that just went and look, everyone still remembers mate, that spot. From what about, I mean, Fabric was the grass. Fabric. 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 Come on. Come on. Fabric, that was the way into Yard for a while. Exactly. Yeah, you know that's a mean? classic spot. Man went raving. Man used to go raving and then go hit Farron. <laughs> That like, quickly, like, <laughs> yeah. out the back, straight yeah. out the back. That's, that would be the only reason for you to Down be in that area well, the at all right. three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Go raving off your trolleys, straight down the stairs. Mm -hmm. Down and in. Quickly, from a rave. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, I think, gentlemen, that concludes <coughs> another lively life session. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, that big up cows, oh man. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Cake, cake. Family, Yo, family. It's not tea in a pot, drinks This is what fresh. I like yeah, about these is. now, because like I was saying to you before, like I didn't want to just come again, or not even come, because I didn't do it the first time, but just sit there and give you some mad stories about this, that, and yeah. the other, because a lot of people do that. This is just like a chilled convo, yeah. life lessons, yeah. a few life stories. Kind of what we, we talk about outside. Anyway. Anyway, do you know anyway what I mean? if you watch the first one. And then the first, I didn't really say much. No, it's normal one, stuff. It's getting about I'm town not that guy doing like, what we do. We don't really stay. Yeah, I don't really like saying stories. Like, like I said, we, we got stories, but you know. Yeah, you, I got you, stories. You, you can get like, them off the young bucks. Yeah, like, yeah. you have to do one one day when you got a few men like that all together, and then we can all talk about it because. Like I said, there's there's things that people all remember. Because you don't want to talk about them when they're not there. Yeah. You don't want the stories to resonate without the other side. Under because, yeah, because, yeah. you know, you say, you tell a story and, and someone just no, no. hears that and says, that, 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 that's a no, lie, that's a lie, that didn't happen, happen, happen like, like that. Yeah. He wasn't even there. Or well, why did you say that for? So I was like, you know what, I'm not going to say it, bro. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So I'll just, like, just leave it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, oh yeah, man. Well, it's been good for me. This has been perfect. And exactly what what we need. That's what yeah, I need. yeah. I need it anyway, man. Yeah, yeah. Vibes. <laughs> vibes. Uh, yeah, yeah I'll plug Mir. Come on. Oh. The gentleman. KTC. Always a pleasure, TBA. boys. Come on. CD. Mm -hmm. Big up my gang. Yeah, so, like yep. Shout out, shout out, Big shout out. Big up the crew. Vop stars. You know who you are. Yeah. We got Dope Boy Packs. Ooh. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Dope Boy Packs. Loud. 
and, and, and we're out like that. Serves you all right. Don't forget, check the television app, free download, all right, for your street culture needs. Thank you for joining us. You stay lucky. Thank you very much, boys. Peace. See you in a year. Boo. <laughs> it's a bear away. I'll see you, I'll see you boys next week. <laughs> hey. <laughs>